So we're given some tables with information about tangents and curves, and we're asked to draw the layout of the horizontal alignment and label the features of each component, stationing and geometric elements. We're told this is a four lane undivided highway and the project begins at station 12 plus 43 with tangent T1 and a bearing of north 66 degrees, 12 minutes, 43 seconds west. Each curve has a design super elevation of 4.6%. The project starts with a grade of 4.12% at an elevation of 266.7 feet. And the project ends 144 feet after the PT of curve three. So there's probably some extra information in here that we're not gonna need uh, to actually solve this problem. But I'm gonna start with a, a rough drawing of this alignment and we could you know, tweak it and improve it, but this is just a rough sketch that we're gonna get to make sure that we understand the alignment of this. So I'm gonna start by adding our first tangent and we're told that it has a bearing of north. So it started from north, north, 66 degrees west. So it should be probably something like this. And of course the lengths aren't gonna be to scale. That's something that would uh, be easy to kind of tweak after the fact, but let's just start with the uh, angles in particular. So now I'm gonna start with the uh, next line here. And so this is gonna be the tangent that comes off of curve one. So it has a delta of 76 degrees 17 minutes, 28.1 seconds to the left. So we're gonna to need to turn from the end of the first tangent, 76 degrees to the left. So this would be 90 degrees. So a little bit back from that. So something like this. Our next one is gonna be 32 degrees, 33 minutes, 20 seconds to the right. So I'm gonna kind of place this point again here. It does give us this crosshair so we can see we need to turn about 30 degrees to the right. Probably this would be this would be 90. This is zero. So about a third of that distance. So probably somewhere in that order. Again, we could get a little more precise if we were using drawing tools, but I just want to get some kind of a rough estimate here. And then our last one is 44 degrees, 47 minutes, 49.1 seconds to the left. So line those up again. We're going to be going left. So this would be zero. This would be 90. So it should be somewhere in the middle. So something like this would give us um, a rough look at what this alignment looks like. I'm probably not gonna label all the points here, although um, for a complete solution, we should do that. We started here at 1243. We're looking for the end point. I'm gonna draw in some curves here just so we have some perspective of our curvature. So I may try and draw this with a little bit of a cleaner arc. It is never quite simple for me drawing in PowerPoint. Uh, that one looks decent. Let me kind of use the same. shape here and of course our this is not to scale we're going to just use our, do our best to uh at least make it look somewhat realistic though let me just clean this up a little bit here and then our final our third and final curve more rotation on it and that's probably good there so i'm going to go ahead and label these here we have curve one we 
have curve two, and then we have curve three. So one of the things we're gonna need to do after we kind of, again, I'd like to start with this rough, rough drawing. Next, I would do some calculations and start to determine some of these, some of these points. You can also do some, some labeling. I'm gonna draw in where our PCs and PT occur. We have some idea of what's going on there. And again, these are these points and the distances are not gonna be to scale on this drawing, but this gives us some idea of what's, uh, what's going on and what we expect to happen. And now with this information, we can add in some of our tangent lengths that are given in our tangent table. So we're told this one, tangent one is 376.99. We're told tangent two is 1197. Again, here's a good example where this drawing is not to scale, but we got the got the angles right or close and um, have the relationship to each other correct as well. Uh, the last one, 846.62 that we we're given in that table. And then we we're also given a little bit of information in the description that the project actually ends 144 feet after the PT of curve three. So we need to make sure that we get that final point listed there. And I should, I should put units on all these. I'm gonna add feet to the end of this. And you know, ultimately we wanna identify the PC and the PT of each of these curves and then our final end point. So I'm gonna set up a table here with our curve information, starting with our, our radius. So we can find the radius of each curve. This is by using the information about the tangent length for each curve. We're gonna divide that by the tangent of delta. So uh, for curve one, we're taking this tangent length 238.43, dividing it by the tangent of 76 degrees, 17 minutes, 28.1 seconds. And so that's how we're gonna find each of those radius values. Next, we can find the length of curve for each of these curves. And this is by multiplying our delta by 100 and then dividing by our radius. Um, radius times, uh, actually we need to get this to the degree of curvature. So we're gonna use the radius to find the degree of curvature. So the length of this curve, uh, for instance, for this first curve, we'll have 100 times 76 degrees, 17 minutes, 28.1 seconds. And then we're gonna divide by the degree of curvature, which we're gonna use the radius to determine that degree of curvature. Um, and that's 18,000 over pi times our radius value. So that's how we'll find each of those lengths. And now with this information, we can start finding our key stationing information, the PI by moving along the tangent length, then the PCs and PTs, and finally the end of project. So I'm gonna Let's take these lengths and this information from this table and go back to our drawing. And we're gonna add in these values here. So for this first one, make this maybe a little bit smaller so we can see more of our values here. So we're told the tangent length for curve one is 238.43. And so to get our PI station, We're going to add our tangent length T1 and our length of the tangent of curve one together. I know this is a little bit similar terminology here to our starting point. So 1243 plus 376.99 plus 238.43 gives us a PI station of 18 
plus 58.42. And then we can subtract back off the tangent length for the curve to get our PC of curve one. And that's gonna give us 16 plus 19.99. Now we're gonna add the length of curve one. So L1, and that was, you recall back to the table, 404.23. And that will give us a station for the PT of curve one of 2024.22. Let me copy this table and bring it up beside our drawing so we can see this a little easier. So these are our, our calculations. At this point, I'm gonna delete out these tangent values because it's cluttering up a little bit here. So we've got the PI, PC, and PT of curve one. We know this distance, I just deleted it 1197.37. That'll allow us to find the PC of curve two. And that is the value here of 32. Actually, I'm going to use this to draw. I'm going to draw arrows here now. So our 32 plus 21.59 is there for the PC of curve two. We can move along the tangent length to find the PI. And that was 283.23. And then finally, the PT of curve two is 37 plus 72.73. And the key thing here is we've got to go from the PC adding our curve length. So it's 32 plus 21.59 plus 551.14 to get to that PT station of 37 plus 72.73. So those are our points for curve two. Now I'm gonna delete these lines. So they're not too confusing here. Um, our next point of interest is the PC for curve three. So to get the PC of curve three, we're gonna take the PT station of curve two and add our given tangent length of 846.62. That will give us 40, station 46 plus 19.35. We can also find the PI station by adding the tangent length of 152.29 feet to our PC station. To find our PT, we need to add the length of curve to our PC. So start with our PC station of 46 plus 19.35, add our length of 288.9, and it'll give us a PT station of 49 plus 08.25. And that's the PT of curve three. And then again, we were told that the, the project ends 144 feet after that PT of curve three. So our final point here is 50, 52.25. And so now we've We've drawn and laid it out and labeled the features. We didn't fully lay out everything because we're working with a little bit of a tighter space. But if we were doing this on a separate uh, piece of paper, we'd want to label all these, the PCs, PIs, PTs of each of the curves and the uh, stations of those.